Hello guys, what's our video? Today it's just another video on F22. Um so today's not much going on, um just kind of an update. Um also uh somewhere around here, there it is. Um don't know why they parked it around here, but the uh, New Holland's back. Um everything's good. Um took about um I think I don't know how long it was. Um it'd be nice to have her back. Um I'm just gonna move her. Don't know why they've put her here, but put her back onto her usual tanker. Um, that's gonna be taken out, isn't it? Yeah. Get back in. Maneuver myself. Right, let's try that. That shouldn't that should work. Yeah, back a bit more. I'm going this side. There we go. Right, so uh uh New Holland's back, um so she'll be doing the tanker um again. Um I have something to tell you guys about the bell trailer and I'll tell you that at the end. Um if we get in the Defender, um, I also don't know what to do with this Bio Stone, so I've just been leaving them for now, but I think I'm maybe just moving them somewhere out of the way. Um, but now if we get in the Defender, um, I'll show you the wheat so far. Instead of heading down a track, we'll head down a grass field so it's not as bumpy. Because when you're um, trying to go it down at it quite, at, you know, too much speed, um, you can begin um, in a straight line down the track, and then if you go a bit too fast, it'll like fling you, so you almost hit a fence post, um, which isn't good. Um, so we'll just uh, park it here. So. The wheat hasn't fully grown. Um, uh, I've not long dropped the spray off at the dealership. I just sprayed some herbicide on the weeds. Um, so all this uh, brown stuff you can see is all the weeds. Um, uh, so hopefully, the next episode or the next or well, two, um, we should be able to harvest the wheat. Um, I don't know there's like a lot of weeds. Um, a lot less than I thought, but there's still a lot. Like this corner's got a lot. Um, that corner's got a lot down there. Um, it's actually quite a, a big uh, wheat like patch. Um, I was thinking of expanding it to about that tree all the way down to here. So we have all of that. Um, but I was thinking of making it up here near where the track is. You can see there, uh, not having it as close. So as you can see, that's pretty close. So like having it go down here and, and then starting heading out this way towards the tree because give us a wide enough space to work around the because with the track you'll just literally drive into the wheat. Um, so yeah. Um, so just getting the defender again. Probably need to clean as well. But um. We will hopefully be mowing this soon, and this will be the only in the next grass field to do. Um, chickens, yeah, these laid some eggs, which is good. Don't want to clip that gate there. So this is kind of just like an update of what's going on. Um, I just part the defender. Um, I'll just swivel it around here and park it up there. These mirrors are quite small, so it's a bit hard to tell if if I'm doing it. I'm a bit closer, which means I'm too far away from the quad. But now I don't want to be too far away. There you go. That should be good there. Yeah. 
Um, also, um, I have in the shed here two grass mini bales. So that's a hay bale. We have two grass mini bales. Um, so I was thinking of feeding them to the sheep. Um, just to try it really. Um, so don't want to take the bales back with me. And um, we'll just take this to the sheep. Um, I'll put it, put it there. Um, I'll use the quad. It'll probably be easier. Um, but yeah. Um, I won't do that now because you've seen it too much. But um, so we, I just thought because they always have hay. Thought it'd give them some grass. Um, for once. And so I'll just put it back in the shed. Um, I might start getting more small ones than big ones. Um. I get like one big one, I just four small ones, um, because the small ones do go at least, at least last them about a day, um, so yeah, uh, the tap's still there, really nothing's much happened, um, I have no idea what to do with this tanker, um, probably just get rid of it really, um, um, yeah, well, what used to be the cattle trailer, uh, but now it's just for the sheep, uh, it's parked here still, this hasn't been used since we got the sheep. Um, and you can see the wheel's been used a bit, but we brought it back now. Um, it hasn't been used since. Um, I'll see if we if the sheep lamb at some point. Um, then, you know, we, we'll, we will need to use that. Um, roll is still in the shed. Um, so this trailer, as you may have noticed, is quite long. And it's hard to get out of here. Now, it's easy to park it in here. But for it to get out, you have to, like, swing at this way. And then like go around like that, or you go up here, reverse and then reverse it down there, which is very tight as it is, um, because obviously you could go through the hedge, which one will scratch you and you could clip that fence post, um, and if you you don't want to lock it against the tractor wheel, so probably in the next in the next video we'll probably get rid of it because of the it being too big, um, we'll probably use that one for now and then get a new one. Uh, it's too big. Um, and this farm is a big farm, but we don't have big equipment. Uh, it's like our biggest kit. Um, and it's just, per I mean, look at it. It looks a bit unnecessary. Um, it's a nice trailer. Don't get me wrong. Um, it takes up a lot of bail, but it just, it's hard to get out of, and it's quite frustrating. Um, the roll is still in there. Sheep have got some wool down there. Um, do you need to get rid of this stump? Um, I'm going to be nice, just so we have a clear path of getting down, and then sheep water, grass, there's a lot of grass in there, um, the tent around the truss seems to be the muddiest bit, surprised these bits here aren't as muddy, um, but now they're all doing good, um, just hop over that, so yeah, um, I'm enjoying life, um, Obviously that's their wall there. And now this cow field. Now I haven't got any plans for this. Um I don't know what these dock leaves are doing here, but you know. Um as you can see it's a lot more grown on that side than it is this side. Obviously this has been used by the cows. I'm surprised they haven't ate more. Um but yeah again there was four of them in this massive field. Um and they also had two more. Um I believe there's something still in the trough here. Um, I might try and recover that and might like, give it to like a local cow farmer or something. Um, this water could probably, I don't know, drain it or something. Um, they left a lot of mud and puddles in here. Um, it's all like crusted to the, to the floor. So, not that we needed to use these cat crushes, but you know, I mean, actually, we did want to put the ear tags on, but that's about all it. Um, we've got that bit there. And then I think this used to be a dairy, um, because you got all the uh, sort of mini milk and parlor, and obviously we had beef, um, and they weren't planning on having calves; they were more for meat, um, which um, they didn't actually end up going for meat because they were a bit more expensive than I thought. Um, now I know I said I would get them in the future, but for now I don't actually know if I will. Um, let's hop over to get you. So yeah. Um, if any of you, you probably won't be, if any of you were wondering what's in these sheds, nothing. Um, you do have to duck your head a bit. Um, 
And then these small sheds would be good, and especially if you can get like some barrels in that one. And then like on this side you could open these gates here and like put a tractor in there or something. Like a little small Fergie or something. Um but no they're good sheds. Um I got all these IBCs and is that canola? I believe this one's wheat. And you got barley. Don't really need them. Spare gates. Two silos. Don't really need them either. Um, combine and John Deere in there. Car foot. Now I need to get rid of this because I don't need it. Now if the ewes do end up lambing at some point, it would be kind of good. Um, but obviously it's made for cars. Hence the name car foot. But um. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff I need to go, especially um, this chicken coop up here. I might keep it. Um, like I say, I had uh, one of the hens had chicks and put them in, in there, so I can close to the house. Um, the caravan, I'm thinking of keeping it. Um, it's actually a big nick, but not on the outside. Um, another one of these tankers, this shed. Um, I don't think it actually has a door. No, it does, but it is locked, so that's not very good. Um, and the windows boarded up, so no idea what's in there. Um, I'd probably knock it down. Um, this oil tank would be nice to replace it, um, but for now it works. Don't know why they've had it with a massive gap behind it. Um, might have had something behind there or something, but you know, it works. Got three thousand seven hundred liters in it, but you know it's it's all right. Um, but it's a bit old, as you can see, it's got some cracks in it. And these bins, um, I still use them. I think of replacing like one, especially this one because it's a bit dirty. Um, and keeping that one. Um, or I might replace both of them and get some two new ones. Um, but no, uh, this car, I have no idea. These three buildings, don't want to really get rid of them. Um, and that one, no idea what's in that one. Netting over the windows. Um, I don't know, it'd just be this bit and it would, wouldn't be much point. Um, I don't think I'd get rid of any of the sheds. If I had to get rid of any of the sheds, probably the cow shed, but that would be one expensive and two take forever because it's got all the spare cow bits and the bits I really don't need. Um, so yeah, so if you enjoyed this video, guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and bye.